Good evening, everybody. So, um, like Denise said, I'm the uh, area like the oh, I almost, almost area labor federation. Welcome to the club. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm the area vice president for the Western New York Nursing Home Division with 1199 SEIU. I'm proud to represent several thousand dedicated healthcare heroes across Western New York, and Nell Robinson here is one of those people. You know, when this pandemic first began we knew pretty immediately that there would be some serious consequences and challenges to overcome. And uh, the pandemic soon shed a very public light on some of the harshest realities of the long-term care industry. You know, realities that our members have experienced for years. Realities that our members have long fought to improve for the sake of their residents and for themselves. And the pandemic really exacerbated these realities and showed us just how dangerous they are. Many of our members are immunocompromised or care for a loved one at home who is. Many of our members have children at home. So imagine day after day walking into work, knowing you're not going to have the proper PPE you need, knowing you'll be severely short staffed, trying to fight the fear and the anxiety, the stress that's coming with this day, and trying to be the bright and happy caretaker of your residents, trying to be their family as visitation is restricted. And then to be called heroes, right? Everyone saw the signs, heroes live here, heroes work here. But a title that soon became hollow as employers continued to fail to provide proper PPE, hazard pay, paid sick leave, as healthcare workers and those that they took care of became the target of political partisanship. And despite all of this, healthcare workers continued to come to work day after day to provide quality care for the most vulnerable members of our community. Many of our members sacrificed time away from family, afraid that they would bring the virus home. Many of our members became infected with the virus. And devastatingly, a number of our members and the residents that they cared for passed away from COVID-19 this year. It's been over a year now since this pandemic has began, and these problems continue to persist. Yet, our members continue to show up day after day to provide this care. And somehow while doing all of this, right, while taking care of their families at home, taking care of their residents at work, our members stood together this year to demand nursing home reform. And I am proud to say that they succeeded and we have secured significant reform in this industry. <laughs> reform that will improve our members' ability to provide quality care to their residents and reform that will in turn improve the quality of life of healthcare workers across the state. But our work is not done, as you all know. So we'll continue to show up. We will honor all of those who we've lost, especially this past year, and continue our fight for safe workplaces, for quality jobs, and for quality care. Thank you. To introduce one of our strongest member leaders, uh, Nell Robinson, who's agreed to share her story with us today. <laughs> 